Uh, my name is Jonathan Friedlander. I'm the uh, Assistant Director of the Center for Middle Eastern Studies at UCLA. I'm also the Director of Outreach for the Office of International Studies and Overseas Programs at UCLA. In the area of outreach, I'm particularly interested in reaching out to the business community in Los Angeles, the uh, community of uh, businessmen and businesswomen, uh, corporations, companies who might want to do business in the Middle East. Uh, an essential part of their doing business with the Middle East, of course, is getting to know the cultural um, uh, habits and uh, the, the ways in uh, which business is conducted in the Middle East and also um, the systems of, of banking and finances that um, uh, are pervasive in the Middle East in such a way that they might themselves be able to conduct uh, and compete for businesses in the Middle East. In that way, Islamic banking and finances are important to our outreach effort insofar as they uh, provide business, businesses and business interests in Southern California uh, uh, insights into the mechanics of uh, the economic life in the Middle East and the Islamic world in particular. Well, we would like to um, work. Uh, what we find with businesses is that uh, time is uh, of the essence. And what we like to do is hold workshops at UCLA at the Center for New Asian Studies, perhaps in the future, in conjunction with the School of Management, where we can invite um, business interests, businessmen, businesswomen, uh, to UCLA to meet uh, experts from the Islamic world, um, what we may call power, power breakfasts, where they can uh, interact one-on-one -on -one and get to know firsthand the issues that they might encounter when they conduct business in the Middle East. Essentially understanding the way finances and banking work in the Middle East, and as well as the cultural issues um, uh, that are connected to uh, doing business in the Middle East. Um, I think um, the, the mystifying uh, some basic elements, especially uh, is issues of interest, because I think that most business uh, interest is such an uh, integral part of American business and uh, um, encountering um, a system that uh, is not so inclusive uh, um, in terms of interest. Uh, and profit uh, uh, through interest is something that uh, is, uh, needs explanation and I think that that's something uh, that we need to uh, work with uh, with uh, our clients and our uh, constituencies. But especially uh, the area of, of, of interest uh, and uh, how it relates to banking and the operations of uh, the Islamic economy. Well, um, this is, uh, is, we are just about to launch this project, so I cannot respond to uh, uh, specifics, but um, generalizing from the way Americans uh, perceive the Middle East in general when it comes to uh, gender issues or to issues of law or uh, elections and governors and authority, these are... Um, these are uh, areas that basic um, errors creep in uh, easily, and I think in the same way that, uh, in the same way, uh, I think most businesses have a similar perception about Islamic banking and the Islamic economy. Um, I don't know the specifics yet. We'll uh, get a better sense once we hold our first uh, workshop uh, next year. But um, I think that there's a lot of explanation that needs to be uh, uh, done. And um, there are people who are uh, expert and have knowledge of, uh, knowledge of the Middle East and are, uh, have traveled to the Middle East. But most American businesses uh, really don't have um, uh, the opportunity to see the Middle East as it is. And um, judging from the concentration on Asian and Latin American or even uh, uh, 
European banking and interest uh, in academia, Africa and the Middle East usually get shortchanged. That is to say that there are very few people, uh, faculty, uh, uh, students that are uh, interested in conducting uh, business in the Middle East for many reasons. Uh, um, misconception about the cultures and the histories, the, uh, the misperception that there's no civil society, uh, uh, just um, misconceptions about bureaucracy and monetary systems and, and just the, the, general, um, uh, the general misrepresentation of the Middle East in the media um, uh, adds to the, uh, to the fear uh, or to the uh, hesitancy of uh, carrying out business in the Middle East and in turn um, we don't see the coverage of the Middle East in, uh, in schools of management um, as, uh, as for example the coverage uh, of Asia or Latin America. Uh, so we think that the Middle East has a, a tremendous potential for American business. Uh, information technology is an area that is uh, expanding and American businesses of course can, can compete if they um, had a good sense of the cultural history and the uh, economic uh, and financial system that that um, uh, are uh, part of the Middle Eastern uh, uh, economies. So, uh, what we're trying to do is to is is, is start uh, um, workshop series and and seminars to enlighten American businesses about business opportunities, and along the way, explain how it all works out. But I have to get the details. I mean, I, I hate to speak about generalities. Um, I mean, uh, since we have not really carried it, this is the first step, you know what I mean? Uh, Dr. Siddiqui is coming and we're just beginning to launch. We know that there's interest on the part of the American business community uh, to pursue uh, their interest in the Islamic world. But um, how, how, how it all works out, the, you know, the devil is in the detail, you know. And until I really know the details, I hate to, to go beyond. Uh... My ultimate goal is to, uh, to generate uh, enough interest uh, that would allow um, for a permanent appointment at the School of Management uh, so that the details of uh, the Islamic uh, banking and the Islamic economy can be clearly articulated to um, graduate uh, uh, students in, in, in business. Um, I see all this uh, outreach as generating uh, um, a momentum that would um, give the School of Management reason to think that um, an appointment of uh, a permanent faculty in the School of Management with a focus on uh, Islamic economics and um, finances uh, is as important as an appointment in uh, Latin American economics or uh, European economics and that uh, uh, American students would have the same chance to do field work in the Middle East and Islamic world as they do in, uh, in Asia, Europe and Latin America. Uh, so. I see uh, the most important element is um, institutional support uh, at the university uh, towards the establishment of um, an academic and professional position at a, school of, at a school of management with the help of the Near East Center, possibly with La Riba and other um, um, you know, organizations that think alike that would allow us to institute a, a, a permanent position in um, in the School of Management.